Oops. Let me get that for you. Hi there, and welcome to an RPG Maker game called Escaped Chasm. It's a pretty peculiar name for a game. This game is about a lonely girl with a connection to another world that she sees in her dreams. And it's also worth pointing out that this game was created by Temi Chang. If that name rings any bells to you, then that's probably a good thing. Um, for those who don't know, she was the lead artist on a teeny tiny little itty bitty game called Undertale. Uh, she also made a cameo appearance in that game, as most people probably know. And she's also freelanced for Studio Yada, doing work for Starbomb and Cartoon Network through them. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna play this game. I, I, I expect some, some good stuff here. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's vast and beautiful. I can see through the eyes of a girl I admire. However, as my consciousness slips back to me, I remember that this euphoric dream is not real. As I awaken, my connection to that world slowly fades away from my memory. I won't let that world escape me. I will hold on to these fragments of my dreams in any way I can. Maybe I can never truly reach that world. But maybe one day, I can still become the girl I see in that place. Well, that was a very nice animated opening. Okay, so I'm in the room. That was a, that was a nice opening. I think I'm done drawing for the day. It was a nice animation. I quite liked it. I wonder where mom and dad could be. Some good music back there. Oh, I have a snake. Let me touch you. Melody looks sickly. He refuses to eat. He named your snake Melody. That's nice. What should I do? Um, have you tried mice? Mice might fix the problem. It's a pile of clothes ready to be washed. We should, we should wash them. We can't have dirty clothes. So these are like drawings that we're doing? Oh, it's like Pokemon. A lot of drawings of your imaginings and a world you wished you lived in. Your skill is not where you want it to be yet, but you're still proud of what you've made. That's good. You gotta, you gotta be proud of what you do. You, just, you move forward. Keep, keep doing better things. It's a picture of me. Don't I look beautiful? With my big glasses. A picture frame that holds a photo of younger you. Such promises. Such, such memories. It's your drawer. It's full of clothes your parents bought for you. You don't really have a sense of fashion yourself. That's fine. You don't need one. Just wear garbage bags and shit. Is this like a diary? It's your diary. What would you like to do? Oh, this must be like the save point. Read today's entry. They aren't back today either. When will mom and dad come home? I'm really lonely. Melody isn't doing so well. He won't eat anything for some reason. To pass the time, I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid, I nearly forget reality. In these stories, I'm who I always wanted to be. Brave, strong unafraid, living freely and living in a forest of wonders, the world of my dreams. I even have friends, but at the end of these imaginings, I have to remember that world isn't real. At the end of the day, I have to remember I'm just me, the me who is pathetic, the me who is cowardly, the me who is alone. I'm kind of tired. I'd like to rest a bit. Man, you really you look down on yourself. Gotta give yourself more credit. Shit, let's go make a sandwich. That'll, that'll boost your morale. That's how it works, right? It's a family photo of you and your parents. Oh. Oh, I should mention that this game has multiple endings. I think it's four from the game page. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get all of them if I can. It's your parents' room. I shouldn't go in. Why not? They're not home. Go jump on the bed. Mess around a little bit. Downstairs, you don't say. I like looking at all the artwork a game has to offer. And like its paintings and stuff. A painting of flowers. A painting of mountains. Lovely. We should call someone. Order a pizza. It's a phone. 
Maybe I should try calling my parents. Ringing. No answer. Well, that was great. A for effort. <laughs> These shoes fit perfectly when I walk right into them. <laughs> vase. Or vase. I don't know. However you want to pronounce it. Can I go down in the basement? I can. I like that I'm not, like, sectioned off to any specific area. Everything's detailed, which is nice. It's a box. On a table. Thanks for the observation. A washing machine. Okay, I take it there's nothing down here. A broom. Alright, yep. I am curious about how to save, though. Because I, I don't... I'm trying to follow typical RPG Maker style, like, um, controls, and nothing's working, so... I don't know- I don't know if there's a menu. <laughs> so maybe there's no save function. <laughs> well, I know she said that she wanted to go back to sleep, but curiosity's getting the better of me, and I want to look around. Everything's so nicely detailed, like, I, I gotta check it out. It's the TV. Seems like a cartoon is about to start. You wanna watch it? Sure. Oh, shit! <laughs> Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. Surrender and accept your fate. <laughs> At this rate, we're done for. Unless... I'm going to use my power. What? No, it's too dangerous. There's no other way. Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me. We'll see about that. Grunting noises <laughs> while using this risky hidden power. Do our heroes stand a chance? Tune in next time to find out. That's fucking great. Like these these little animations that make up like um, in between moments or like just interactions. It's, it's fantastic. Something you don't normally see in RPG Maker games. You are in awe. You love this show. Damn right I do. Like, oh, okay, I guess I'll leave then. <laughs> well, what's in this room then after we, we watch that amazing TV show? So it's the bathroom, the toilet, the sink, the shower. You accidentally rip it a lot. Lovely. <laughs> Wait, how do you accidentally rip a shower? Okay, whatever. I won't, I won't ask too many questions. Okay, what's over here? I assume the kitchen. Yep, this looks like a kitchen. It smells like one, too. It's the oven. It's a little scary. There's a painting over the oven. Do you want to look? Yeah. It's the dog at the beach, gazing out into the ocean. It's, it's always nice to bring your dog to the beach. I've, I've always had dogs that reacted very, very nicely to it. Um, I did have one, though, that swam way the fuck out there. Well, it's, it's a lake, not an ocean in my case. That's fine. But, nonetheless, swam like halfway out there. Thought he was gone. Just just sat down for a while on the beach, waited a bit. He swam back. It was fine. Some bills and papers. Ah uh, yes, the mundane. The radio. It plays a lot of old music. That's good. Got anything in the fridge? It's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. Just grab whatever whatever picks your fancy, you know? So don't, don't don't be picky. Don't think about too much. Just just shove whatever you find in your mouth hole and and enjoy it. Wait, did I? Did I check out what's down here first? I don't want to go outside yet. Oh, okay. I want to write in my diary. Wait, I already did that though. <laughs> well, I guess we're off to sleep then. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Maybe tomorrow will be better. How did your glasses teleport onto the, the, the table? Okay. This must be my family. Oh. Oh no. I mean, I can understand that kind of thinking. When no one's fucking, like, paying attention to you, or anything. How long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they came back yet. Huh. Okay, well it doesn't look like much changed. Alright, well, uh, nothing else to do here, so let's check and see if the parents are back. Mom. Dad. You come home from wherever the hell you were. You mind explaining yourselves? 
you just waved and left with like smiles and happy grins and shit and I'm just like all despair and, and upset and this chair is facing the other way. This isn't our normal reclining chair. Did they come back and change the chair? Yes, overnight. <laughs> and movers come in and just adjust everything. What about the TV? Sure, let's watch. That's an eyeball. That's the Eye of Sauron. That must be my mom. <laughs> Maybe in the bathroom. Mom, are you in here? Dad? Did you fall in the toilet? Shit. Oh. Hi, who are you? Uh, who are you? Exclamation point. Just a visitor. Are you my new mother? Is there anything I can do for you? Get you a glass of milk, shine your shoes, back massage, perhaps? <laughs> Not really. I'm just here to observe. Observe? What are you observing? Me, obviously. Duh. I'm just here to see what happens. And what do you mean? Oh, see ya. Just phased out of existence. I didn't even get to hug her. Where did he- oh, it was a he. Never mind. Well, I'd still hug him. It's fine. He looked demonic. So there's- there's unnatural forces astray here. Well, we probably teleported to another world. This is an isekai. I'll just go back to bed then. Yeah, I'll check the parents' room first. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. Knock, knock, knock. No response. Guess I should look around. I already did that and I found a demon. I'm going back to sleep. Um, let's read today's diary entry. There was a strange guy in the house today. I couldn't believe my eyes. I wasn't sure if he was real or not. I was a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. When will mom and dad come home? I'm kind of sleepy. I should take a rest. Okay, um, bedtime then. Yeah, let's sleep. Maybe they'll be back when I wake up. Once again, how the hell did your glasses teleport over there? You possess strange powers, child. Please help her. Help who? Please help me. Oh boy. Okay. That was a weird dream. That's probably my reality now. I really like those little animations that play when, uh, when I go to sleep. It's really nice. Could combine that with the TV one and like the, the opening cinematic and this is really well put together. Okay, so we should try going outside for the first time in our life. That's what the diary told me anyway, when I when I went to check it. It's like, we should go outside today, go take a walk, see what we can find today. If you know that song, I love you. If you don't, well, look it up. <laughs> Chair is back. What's going on? Well, as I said, supernatural things are afoot. We should look outside. Well. You're gonna... I can do this. Be brave. Be strong. Step foot on that grass. Uh, you made a horrible mistake. Go back inside. <laughs> um... Okay. What's... What's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. Uh... Okay. He's right. I should go back. No, don't. Okay. It looked fun out there. What? What was that? What's going on? I... I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. 
What should I do? What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mom and dad? Where could they be? In the basement. In the washing machine. I would laugh my ass off if that was the case. <laughs> They've just been chilling in the washing machine the whole time. On the rinse cycle. Alright, well, time to take a look around for anything strange. You're too afraid to turn on the TV. I'm too afraid for television. What kind of millennial am I? Yeah, I don't really see any changes made about here, I don't think. So I guess I'm supposed to just, like, go write in my diary. I went outside to try and look for mom and dad. And what I saw, my heart was racing. Something's wrong. Everything looked distorted and destroyed. I didn't know what to do. Was what I saw even real? That strange man was there too. He was looking at the chaos and... He seemed like he liked it. He told me I should turn back and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mom and dad are. Would he know? Where are my mom and dad? Did they get hurt? Did they need my help? I don't know what to do. My mind's racing. I'm so scared. I'm so worried. What should I do? I... I'm tired again for some reason. Why am I so tired? Maybe it's because we're alternating between dimensions. It's your bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yep. I don't know if I should be sleeping, but... For some reason, I can't keep my eyes open. Will everything be fixed when I wake up? Probably not. So far, everything has gotten progressively worse. <laughs> hey, that looks like my drawing. And that looks like Sauron. Who are you? If those ears were eyes, I am fully intrigued. I... I should... Should, um... Read my diary. <laughs> I can't read my diary. Okay, um... We'll go outside then. The music stopped too, which... Oh, fucking hell. Well, everything went to hell in the handbasket. What's happening? I need to find mom and dad, quick! Bedroom? Maybe, maybe we'll just go in the bedroom. I should check only as a last resort. I'll come back if they're nowhere else. I- I bet you they're in the bedroom. Um, basement, maybe? So it seems like a- an optimal choice for some, everything is warped. Maybe we try the television. Uh, that seems like a go-to. It's a TV. It won't turn on. Never mind. My ideas are foiled. I'm just curious where the different endings come into play, because I've yet to see, like, a choice. What are you? And where did this doll come from? This isn't my doll, but... It looks familiar for some reason. Sure, let's take it with us. It's a familiar doll. Can I, like, get a sandwich? Nothing to eat. But our fridge was fully stocked, like, a day or two ago. What happened? Um, I've checked everywhere. I should try the parents' bedroom. It's a family photo of you and... Uh, just me, apparently. My parents are gone. I have to go in there. I have to. Okay. I'll go in. Oh, God, that's distorted. Um... Oh, I'm walking really slowly here. Is this... Wait, is this a... Diary? Up here? An open journal. The previous pages are all torn out, but the last page... This is... A mom's handwriting. XX, XX, XXXX. If you find this journal, my little star... I'm sorry we couldn't get to tell you one last goodbye. I know you haven't found your confidence yet. But I know deep inside, a strong and brave girl sleeps. I wish we could have been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please, move on without us. I think it's too late for us. I wish with all my heart we could meet again in another time, another place. Please know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. 
I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. This is... It can't be. No. They must still be somewhere. I can still find them. They need my help. I, I have to. I don't think uh, there's anything else for me to interact with here. It's just the journal. Okay. This is getting freaky deaky and I like it. I have to find them. I... Now is not the time for crying. Okay, that's better. Just, you, you just let it all out in the moments. Fine. Oh, there's a demon. What the hell? Are you trying to signal me where to go, aren't you? You want me to go in my bedroom so you can kill me. I'm going to try everywhere else first because I'm stubborn. Yeah, from what I can tell, there's nothing out of the ordinary apart from everything being warped and destroyed. <laughs> so, uh, bedroom it is. What are you doing in my room? It's you. It's me. You... Do you know where my parents are? I think you already know the answer. They're gone. To a place they can't willingly return from. So they're in hell. Or heaven. Or purgatory. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No. I... No, it's... It's not true. They're not gone. They can't be. No. Well... They may be gone from this world, but it isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were... From this world, yes. There's nothing that can be done. But, if you're willing to take a chance, you may be able to find the way to save them. There's a world beyond this one that you seem to already be somewhat familiar with. A world that you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. It seems like, because of her, you've established a link to that world. It wouldn't be very hard to create a path for you there. There is... a world like that? So it... really exists. However... In stepping through this path, you can never return to this life. Can you take this step knowing you may never be able to return? If there's a way to save them, then I have no choice. There is a chance. That in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you, but what might upset you... ...is that it includes the memories of your parents. With this risk in mind, will you take this step? Do you think, even without the memories of this world, you'll be able to save them? I could lose the memories of mom and dad? No. These memories, they're my everything. Stay behind, and you can hold on to your memories forever. In an endless, abysmal chasm. How... How can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are these? Not good ones, that's what. Do you... Do you know why all of this is happening? Do you... know what caused all of this? I believe I do. There's an influence from a large unstable power in a world not too far from here. It's likely that's what's causing this world to collapse on itself. Or perhaps... This world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. If all this is happening, why are you here? Why would you come to a decaying world? Curiosity. 
I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone. The one I suspect caused all of this. Or, I guess the one who may be making the decay of this world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate, and came to see this world to its end. I was surprised to find there was anyone left. There isn't much time left for you either if you stay here. You too will soon be drawn into the depths of an endless chasm. You find yourself unable to stay awake for very long, isn't that right? I don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. There's someone I'd like to return to soon. So, this will be our last meeting, and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? I... Oh, so this is where my choices come into play. Well, let's weigh our pros and cons here. We stay here, we're dead. <laughs> Um, our world falls apart, everything we know of is gone, literally everything is gone, except our memory. That is the only thing that stays, but if we're dead, we can't remember, now can we? But if we go, we have a chance of rescuing our family, but we also have a risk of losing our memories of said family, so I'd say that is the better option of the two. So we're going to go with that. And then later on, I'll come back and try and see what happens when you stay. And I, I think I think that'd be good. So we're gonna we're gonna go. I'll go. I I need to take that chance. If there's a way I can save them, maybe. Yes. Deep in my heart, I'll make sure I hold on to their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You've made a wise decision. Step through this door, and don't look back. Holy shit. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. Who's her? Who are you referring to? I have so many questions. I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling my dreams and happiness will come true the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. I don't even see Melody in there. I think he broke out. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. I'll never forget you. Is this a happy ending? Oh wait, there's um, a little bit of something at the end here. I think mom and dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. Still, I can't believe my eyes. This outside world before me. It's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. It's nice and colorful. That's the end. Or at least one of the endings. What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. Hi? Wow, good job. You found the secret room. How did I do that? You must have some questions, right? I have many. I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Who are you? I'm Tammy, the creator of the game. I... I figured. I figured that. I draw, illustrate, pixel, animate, right now, I guess. I made sound effects in-game using a cute program. Behold! 
Please hire me, I need work. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, I mean like This this is really fucking good. <laughs> just just to put it in like a few really low level terms. It's really fucking good. <laughs> I would- I would do- I would donate and support this. I will donate and support this. Anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? This is directed at you. Insert player name here. <laughs> How did I know you were insert player name here? Well, I'm pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Fucking hell, okay. <laughs> you must be eliminated, be gone. <laughs> Why am I a cat? Haven't you always been? That's a fair point. Um, what happened to the lonely girl? It's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world, however, because she was influenced from abnormalities from her decaying world, she was shifted into a demon. I was right, they were demons. This is partially a premise for the game I want to make next. But that game is much more ambitious, and I don't know how long it'll take me. Hope you get to see it someday soon. I hope so too, because this is cool. Anyway, I think she prefers being this way anyway. It really is a new start for her. Also, it's very similar to what she's always wished to be anyway. It worked out. Kind of. Okay, um, who is the handsome demon man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. But he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. <laughs> okay? Who are the characters he's referring to? I was curious about that. The someone he wants to return to is Yoki. She'll be the main character of the game I want to make soon. Oh, okay character causing everything. You'll find out in the one day I ever finish that game. I hope I do. <laughs> God, there's so much, like, charm and shit just packed into this for free. It's fucking awesome. Is this all there really is to the game? That's it. Oh. I'm sorry. There's so little. This was just meant to be a test game I made to learn how RPG Maker works. So I can make the, the game I actually want to make. That's understandable. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. I ended up getting attached to her story and made it longer than I intended. I'm glad you did. <laughs> I felt really worried writing a story with this type of tone and themes. I really hope it doesn't upset you too much. It didn't. I'm sorry if it did. I just, I'm curious about the other endings though. And if they actually lead to this room too or not. Or if I just happen to get the quote unquote best ending first try. Um, I guess you must be eliminated. Be gone. Huh? I can't believe that worked. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad I asked all my questions first. Can I watch anything on the TV while I'm here? Seems like there's something to watch. Watch TV, sure. It seems as time has passed. She slowly lost hold of her memories from her last life. However, she is still drawn to the girl she met in her dream. Though, maybe for the wrong reasons. She wants to eat her. Maybe one day she might realize and remember the real reason she's drawn to her. This is a love story. Alright. <laughs> Still though, that like just the, the amount of detail in this is outstanding. Like even if it was just a test project or a test game, this is still better than a lot of shit I've played. A lot of shit I've seen, like... Because I've seen a lot of shit. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm done here. Do you want to return to the start screen? Sure, we're gonna go find out more endings. Okay, so here we are back at the choice. So last time we chose to go, and everything was all happy, and people were, people were good. We went to a new world, it was very colorful. I don't know if we found the parents or not, but hey, whatever. This time we're gonna stay. And we're gonna die. With the world. I... I can't do it. So be it. Farewell. Welp. That's, uh... And so the lonely girl chose to stay in her deteriorating world. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I'm not the strong girl you thought I was, after all. Time passed by slower and slower. 
Her consciousness slowly fading, she would forever dream of a beautiful world that was once just out of reach. End. That was a very short ending. For the, for the amount of time it took to get back to this point, that was very short. I wish the game had a save function. I do, just for just for this reason. I understand it's, it's very short. And there's really not much of a purpose to the save function. It's not needed. Unless if you're trying to find all the endings. Which I am. <laughs> I just want to see the different ways uh, things can play out. That's all. And I think I found... Well, it, it says that there's four... And I think I found three. I, uh, if you count, if I count the secret room as as an ending, I found three. I don't know where the other one would be. It might have something to do with the familiar doll. Like maybe I'm not supposed to pick it up, and then that does something to the ending. I don't know. So I, I was happy to see both the stay and the go ending. That was enough for me. And then the secret room was like just some icing on the cake. Fuck it. I went and got all the endings. Alright, so forget what I said about not knowing the endings, or not knowing where to find the endings. I found them, and it's all thanks to Temi putting in a guide hidden within the game folders, in a folder called Guide, that I just happened to overlook a couple of times. But I saw it, so now I know how to get these endings. So we're gonna go get them, and I'm gonna shut up, and we're gonna cut right there right now. Okay, so this first ending, um, involves us going outside, and instead of going right back to bed afterwards, we go outside a second time, and be all like, what's up? Time to die. Okay, outside the second time. I should turn back, it's not safe. Nah man, we should, we should totally keep going very slowly. Go towards the edge. The light, jump into the void. Well? Well, I think we just became one with the distortion. Okay, well, time to go find the last ending then. <laughs> okay, so the last ending revolves around the doll here, which I was I was correct about when I was first playing through the game. Um, so instead of taking it with me, I have to say no. Something about this doll didn't resonate well with you anyway. So I guess I'm just supposed to leave then. I, I declined the doll. You feel a little uneasy. Okay, I may have to just continue the game as is. Oh, okay, this is different. It mentioned that this is the worst end. <laughs> Who are you? Oh boy, time to die. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Just because I said no to the doll? That's... okay. I embrace my warm, fiery death. And I, I guess that's that's all the endings then. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna give some thoughts on the game then now. Overall, this was very, very good. I, I love the art of it, obviously. The different, the use of like having the RPG Maker style and then like some animations thrown in in between with it is really, really cool and really, really good especially since it's done very well. It just adds another layer of depth to the game, and it gives it a slight bit of charm. Um, sounds were really good. I really enjoyed the music. Um, it was very Undertale-esque at times, and I, I think that's... I think that was supposed to be how, how it is. I, I don't know. Sound effects? Very good. The two together, combined with like the art style and everything, give a really good atmosphere to the game. So it's very somber, in a way. Um, even when everything is getting destroyed, it's very, like, like, low tone, and I like that. Characters and story, I really enjoyed, like, at, at first I wasn't sure what to expect, well, obviously, because all you have to go off is, like, a lonely girl who can see into another world in her dreams. I wasn't sure, like, how in-depth it was going to go, but I was very surprised that, like, even in the short amount of time, the amount of detail that it gave on things it was, was pretty good. And then with the secret room, find out later that this is, I, I guess, supposed to be almost like a prologue to to another game that Temi's working on. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that. This might just be like a semi-relation, maybe. 
I, I know it was supposed to be like a test game, but you, you could see that there's a lot of like thought, time and effort and feeling put into it to, to create something quite outstanding, actually, in, in the short amount of time that it is. I think that's about all the words I want to say on it. Yeah, I can't I can't really think of anything else other than that I really did enjoy this experience. So that's the end of Escaped Chasm. I don't know if this is going to be split up into a series or if this is going to be a single video, but regardless, I hope you found some enjoyment in it. And as always, take care, and I'll see you around. Thank you.